Yeah, no, it was a it was a big win for us. Um, having fallen short the week prior to that, uh, we understood that uh, how crucial this match was, and we knew that uh, Nova was uh, a challenging group, a very good group, um, who would extend us a bit. And um, fortunately for us, we were able to get the three points on the night. So um, we're using this week now to prepare for St. John's, another very good opponent. Our, our league is a very good league. It's every, 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 every match is challenging. Um, and so uh, we're focused on, on St. John's now. What do you think? St. John's has given up the most goals so far in conference play, but what do they do well that, you know, obviously still create a big challenge when you play them on Saturday? Well, you know, first and foremost, um, they have Coach Mazur uh, on their side who's, who's been there for quite a while. So they will be prepared. Um, if, if they've given up goals, it's not uh, because of a lack of preparation. Um, maybe there's a, um, a shortfall in concentration or focus or somebody misses an assignment, but it's definitely not because they're not prepared. And so, um, you know, I, I take that kind of data with, with, uh, with a grain of salt, uh, given the, the history of that program, uh, given the players that Coach Mazur recruits, uh, and so, regardless of how I feel they're doing on the season, it'll it'll be a challenging match for us. You know, this on film, the difference between um, what was what you guys had in the box from a mentality standpoint and a confidence standpoint on Saturday that maybe wasn't there in the previous matches. You know, again, I, talk, I spoke about this uh, after our Georgetown match. Um, you know, we did have the opportunities. Um, we lacked execution. Um, I think when you go through three, four, five chances, you see your confidence start to maybe sink a little bit. And that's something that we've been focusing on, um, being that we are attacking uh, quite well right now with numbers. Um, we have to understand that we are human. We're not going to finish every opportunity. And so as those chances come, if for whatever reason we're not able to capitalize on them, we have to continue to stay aggressive. We have to continue to believe in one another, to believe in our ability to finish those chances off. And so we can't by any means allow ourselves to drop our guard um, if, if we're getting opportunities that we're not finishing. Almost like, did you almost like that the goals from Owen and the, and the PK that you earned, that it just came from I don't know, just just being aggressive in the box. Like it wasn't a clean pass, pass, pass finish like that you can draw up. It was kind of a little bit unconventional. Did you like that they saw goals like that be produced because it kind of reinforces the fact that your aggressiveness needs to be there at all times because things happen like that? No, absolutely. I think uh, um, we have to be able to be uh, gritty in the, in the box, right? We have to get down and dirty. We have to be excited to put our body on the line, to push the ball over the line um, and, and, and into the net. And so it is good to be able to score those types of goals as well. You know, it's not always going to be perfect. It's not always going to come off uh, like you planned it or how you drew it up on the training field. Um, and so we have to be uh, flexible. Um, we have to be okay with uh, sometimes having to get down and dirty in the box to, to push the ball across the line. What do you like about the defensive organization, you know, tracking back? Uh, not, I, I know they did spread you out in the second half, but it, it wasn't like you guys um, lost control of things. You yeah. Know? What yeah. did you like about the way the defense kept fighting, especially when they got countered? For sure. No, you know, first and foremost, our, our, our first line of defense is uh, being able to keep the ball. Um, I thought we did a pretty good job against a pretty good side. Uh, but like you said, early in the second half, Villanova did do a good job at spreading us apart a little bit. Um, uh, the good thing about uh, what we did on the, on the night was Villanova was able to spread us apart a little bit um, in our attacking third as they tried to play the ball out of the back. Um, but uh, they never really threatened us uh, in behind except a couple of counterattacks. Uh, but I thought that overall on the night, um, we did a good job to keep Nova away from goal, um, which is a very good team going forward. Um, and I thought that um, we defended well as a unit, in particular our back three, uh, helping out with our win backs as well. And so 
um, it was definitely a step up from um, our defensive outing at Georgetown. This temperature is going to be lower this weekend. We got cold front coming through. <laughs> is, is there like an ideal window that you guys like to play in after not got too cold? Yeah, I think it's right about now. You know, uh, I, I know last week was still a little bit warm. Um, but, yeah, no, this type of weather that, that we're about to get here coming through is – uh, I think it's great for soccer matches because you know you can run all day really, um, where it's not it's not humid and it's not 80 degrees and, and above. And I also think it's it's fun for fans too, right, to come out and bundle up a little bit and get some hot cocoa, uh, you know, spice up your hot cocoa if you want, and curl up with your loved one and and, and watch a good match. Do uh, do your eyes light up when St. John's is across from you, <laughs> given the history? You know, obviously, I enjoy every match, but there is there is a little bit of um, um, special feelings when, when we play against St. John's, given that, you know, that was um, way back when in our first Final Four um, as a student athlete here at Creighton, um, uh, where we met up against, we matched up in the semis against St. John's in the Final Four in Richmond of 96. And um, Coach Mazur was actually on the, on the touchline for, for St. John's, so he's still there. Um, and they, they actually went on to win a national title that year. And so it is, it is special to, to be able to line up against St. John's and especially to have Coach Mazur still there. Thanks, guys. Again, sorry for being late. Thank you.